Hi. Good evening. Good evening to you all. For it is one of the last um, YouTube video, most likely the last YouTube video, unless I make someone in the next few days. Last YouTube video that I'm doing in North Carolina. Um, while I am here, this, as you can see, my room, who's usually with tall towers of shelves and such, has been dismantled and taken away. So, um, yeah, I've mostly packed almost everything. This. This this used to be full of DVDs and all sorts of other stuff and the tall shelves and all that. I've packed, I've done it, I've taken so much away. I'm I'm almost done. As I'm almost done, uh, it's the beginning, the beginning of you know that whole thing with um, closed door, you know, others open. Well, it's more like not exactly a closing of a door. It's more of you slam one door shut. Those that have been slightly opened, which you haven't noticed, the draft pulls them right in, the nice backdraft, you know, that nice suction of sliming the door, but that, you know, helps out a lot, now I can see a lot more things clearly, um, today was day one of being unemployed, uh, yesterday was the last day I was at the historical park, uh, the jetpack job ended last week, week before that, I, um, it was the ending of the pirate stuff that I was doing, got my last paycheck, I gotta take that to the bank tomorrow, um, and yeah, and yesterday was my last day at the historical park. Now we have a tradition there. If you've worked there for a long enough time, you make your headstone. Basically, when you're done, you know, you have your spot to leave it there. And let's see. Uh, da -da -da -da. Here it is. No, here is my headstone. You make your own headstone. It's kind of it's like one of those like creepy kind of things. But the point is that we make it there, and we have, you know, in memory of we who have come and gone, who have been there for quite a long time. Here's my headstone. Yep, I portray a guy called Pedro Diaz, as you can see that, Pedro Diaz. And those were the years of um, July 2010 all the way up to September of 2014. I've been working there for quite a while, and I portrayed a Spaniard. And as I was portraying a Spaniard, I would teach history, and so, ah, that's over, moving on. But I've learned a lot of different stuff there. I've learned everything from blacksmithing and carpentry of, of, of 16th century carpentry. I've learned all sorts of stuff, and hopefully all the different knowledge from the sailing and all the talking to people and tours and so forth has given me such experience that I can find jobs in a few different places. Um, everything from museums to even a zoo. Yes, I'll be the one in the cage going, ah! No, no, that, that wouldn't be working. But if they offered me a job doing that, I would definitely help out with that. What else? Um, the Renaissance Festival that's right out of Houston. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna go over there. I will. Um, I've got some work that I've been offered by my older brother to start up with, and his girlfriend, which um, has a dog walking business. I will ask her to train me properly to know exactly what to do with walking dogs, how she likes to, you know, um, walk them, because I don't want to, you know, do something different that gets her in trouble. You know, it's her business. I don't want to screw it up. Uh, what else? Helping my brother at his catering company, my younger brother, who he is offered the information to who to talk to so I can get a job. Because basically, um, uh, my younger brother has talked to the guy who does the hiring stuff, and my younger brother is like, yeah, all that stuff for the Ren Fair? My brother does that all the way in North Carolina. He's moving over here. And the guy goes like, really? So basically, I have a job interview waiting for me if they remember my brother. Yeah, who knows? The point is that I can go over there, I can show different things, I can do my different stuff, I can do blacksmithing, I can do my leather work, I can do you know, medieval combat. No, I will not ride a horse, I don't trust those things. Horses, oh my god, horses, they're they're big, they're smart. In one kick they can make your head go sideways, and you know, and over, it's done. Yeah, the horses and dolphins, and then elephants, yeah. No, dolphins, I don't trust dolphins first, and then horses and then elephants when it goes to mammals and then it's the, you know the big predator cats and so on but it goes it starts up with with dolphins i don't trust those suckers they're frisky bastards they do stuff yeah, out of mammals all right but yeah um but if they gave me the opportunity to learn jousting i so would moving on unrelated but yes, um, in about a few days from now, I will start my drive. It'll take me a few days because I make a few stops along the way to see some friends and family and so forth. And while I'm doing this, I'll be able to um, at least see some family, which I haven't seen in almost a decade. So that'll be kind of good because I'm, I, I worry. I worry about my family. I worry about my family in, in many different ways. I've been out here for almost seven years in North Carolina, and since I've been out here, I have not, I've never had family actually visit me here. 
Never. Uh, I've it, it been me going over to them. Uh, me go see my parents, and one time went to Houston and saw my brothers. That was years ago. But the thing is that I've never had an actual family member visit me here. Uh, my grandfather's tried a few times, but he always cancels. He's kind of old, crazy, hard at hearing. Have you ever tried having a conversation with a Puerto Rican old guy that is slightly deaf? You're screaming in two languages in a weird Spanglish for him to understand you. Yeah, that's my grandfather. Great guy and all. Uh, I was supposed to meet up with him. That was part of me scheduling everything. So I could actually meet up with him uh, for uh, part of the day while I was driving and spend some time with him before I would keep on going. But nope. He once again has changed his plans and that kind of screws up how things are for me. Well, not, not exactly. It just gives me half a day in the panhandle of Florida to do whatever I want. But that's life. You know, I'll figure things out as I go. Um, but nothing can be planned perfectly. According to plan. It never works at plan. Just have a guideline and know that you have to go through all the points. doesn't matter how many curves you have to take along the way. It's Nothing is a straight line. If it was a straight line, it would be way too boring. It's not interesting. It's not the destination. It's the journey across it. And then at the destination, a new journey, which is even worse than before. Because going over to Houston terrifies the hell out of me. Have I said this already? I don't know. It's because I'm moving to a whole different location that I'm not adjusted to. I am not accustomed to it. I don't know the place. I've seen a map of it. It's a giant spider web of roads. We're talking about, I'm gonna get lost. I will have to get a map and I'm gonna have to figure myself out, okay? I will be crazy tourist. I'm not even gonna leave a five mile radius from where I live, hopefully. Unless I have to do it work related or going to the zoo or the renaissance festival which you know as long as i can you know figure it out by computer you know find it online find my routes and coordinates and find the map and... moving on i've got a lot of stuff that's go going on soon but to begin with i gotta finish here i gotta get my way over there and then when i get there i got two days of nothing so it's gonna freak me out that i can't do anything because the first job i'm supposed to be working with would be working with my brother and i won't be able to talk to my brother uh, because he's going to be working throughout that whole weekend whenever I finally arrive. Whenever I arrive, he'll, it's middle of the weekend. He'll be busy. I won't be able to spot, speak to him until Monday. So that gives me a day and a half. And finally, whenever I get to talk to him, I'll be able to start figuring things out. So when I talk to him, I can talk to his girlfriend, you know, all the other stuff. Start with those two. And as I'm living on a couch, I will not live for free. I will trade off my different skills of cooking and, yeah stuff whatever cooking yeah heck yeah cooking some Puerto Rican food or right, awesome um what else uh and look for work so from day three when I arrive because it won't be Saturday it'll be Monday uh whenever I finally arrive shove my stuff in storage just live off of a backpack and a half um figure things out but that's gonna be my life so it may be well no 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 it's gonna be a while before I make another video so please be happy. Be peaceful. Think of your life. Think of where it's going. Are you happy where you're standing? Are you happy where you are? Should you go off and do something else? I don't know you, so you have to figure that out for yourself. All I can do is suggest. Like a crazy guy... Uh, no, I'm not even going to go with that metaphor. Changing. Like some, some random person who just walks up and says, Are you happy where you're standing? Take many minutes and think about it before you answer. Because a lot of times you can walk by and say, Good morning! People say, How are you doing? And everybody answers, Fine. Or, Can't complain. Or, Good. Or, Well. Or, They don't, they have an automatic answer. Everybody has an automatic answer. Think about it. Think about your life. Think about it. Are you happy? The answer is, Yes. Because of all the crap and misery that we have in our life, there's all these small little good things that make it all worth it. If not, we would have probably turned into a murderous, cannibals or something of horridness that would be causing pain and destruction upon the land that we live on. Well, let's not do that. Unless it's post-apocalyptic and then, you know, free game. I would rule in that world, for I can build everything. Yeah, I got a degree in tool and die making. I can make stuff. And crap stuff. Oh, uh, whatever. Be happy. Be peaceful. Be awesome! Be you. Be yourself. Express yourself. I'm rambling on again. Have a good night. Until next time, be safe. Um, boobs. I just wanted to ruin the video.